My name is Becca Peasy and I'm 37 years old and I'm from Belmont, Mass. And I am training to run seven marathons on seven continents in seven days for the second time. Seven, seven started. Let's go. So in 2016, I became the first American female to run seven marathons on seven continents in seven days. And it was my goal to show my daughter that you can do anything you want if you believe in yourself. The highs of this race are really high and the lows are really low. And when you do hit a really low point, you just focus and take one step at a time and know that you're going to get through it. Did you start feeling any type of discomfort in the back, any type of... Shin issues, shin splints. Like I was at Mount Mile 2, Marathon 6, and it just gave like a stabbing knife. Mm -hmm. So, and it was constant pain, so it just gave out, and, and that was scary. Ran 777 for the first time, Marathon 6, Mile 2, I tore my groin, and it was like a stabbing knife to the groin, and the community of Boston just totally rallied behind me, and, and I felt that they were there to support me, and we just took one mile at a time, and I I kept thinking what Tom Brady said, we didn't come this far just to come this far, and I certainly didn't put in a year worth of training to give up then. I knew that the times were going to get tough, and I just took one mile at a time until I crossed the finish line. When I crossed the finish line on Australia, my parents were there with my, and my daughter, and they were live on Skype, and they said we did it, and at that very moment I made history, and I felt so proud of myself. I put in a lot of hard work over the last year. I knew that I would finish. I just didn't know what to expect. It's an opportunity for me to inspire the world and to show my daughter that you can do anything that you put your mind to. Pizzi was the women's winner in all seven World Marathon Challenge races, and she became the first American woman to complete it. Congratulations. I'm really excited to be here at TV12, and I feel like today was such a huge step in the right direction and I can use what I learned today going forward. What I liked most about Devin is he walked me through what he was doing and he would tell me when I'm about to experience pain and why. After the runs I was used to feeling sore and now I feel strong and I feel like I'm prepped for my next run. So I'm putting in a lot of mileage in right now so each run is essential and every run I feel stronger and stronger. So I made a plan to run 70 to 100 miles a week and I stuck to the plan and listened to my body. I'm so excited about the locations of the seven continents. We start in Antarctica and then we go to Cape Town, Africa. And then we're in Perth, Australia. Then we fly to Dubai and then Lisbon, Colombia, and it ends in Miami. And I'm most looking forward to crossing the finish line with my daughter. She'll run the last 10 yards with me in Miami. I'm most looking forward to that. We cross 16 time zones and we go from temperatures zero in Antarctica to 80 degrees in Colombia. So it's just such a mind game. I know that I can do this. I've done it before, but I can do it better with the help of TB12. And I already feel that much stronger. My mental game is where it needs to be. And it's such a mental game to run seven marathons on seven continents in seven days. So when I wake up, I'm ready to go, and I'm ready to put in the hard work, and I'm not afraid anymore. If I can just finish, I'll be the only person in history to do it twice. I like goals like that. I like making history. My main goal is just to make America proud. This is the most confidence I've ever had in my life.